Alrighty, let's try this again. This is a second try. <laughs> this is K1GMM Steve Vermont, and we're going to, uh, this is for art and for QNT, I think is, is call sign art. Forgive me if I cannibalize that. But um, we're going to go through the setup, how to get a DAW running specifically on an Anon on Thetis. So we're going to jump right in here. So the first thing you want to do is what you're looking at right here is a DAW and you're looking at a voice meter banana. You need to download these two pieces of software or the DAW of your choice. There are plenty of free ones out there. And all I'm going to cover, the only thing I know about is Cakewalk. They all work the same. It's just you have to go to different places to do different things. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to go online and you want to download your DAW. And again, in this instance, I'm going to cover Cakewalk, but they all, they all do basically the same thing. All right. Now download Cakewalk, install it by Band Labs, and download Voice Meter Banana. Uh, go online, just type in Voice Meter Banana, go to the downloads, download the, for the appropriate operating system and go ahead and install those two things and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you step by step how to get this thing running on the anon using a single audio card what i have here is an m audio 192.4 uh, m audio air uh, it's been a great card for me and um you can use other cards as well uh, what i will also do is i will put a link for my website which has a ton of information and how to configure Cakewalk and get the plugins. And these are, you can use any plugins you want, but uh, one of the nice parts about what I'm sh about to show you is that you can literally install all of the plugins. And I will post the link to the website. It'll show you exactly how to do that, where to go to get them. It's all linked. And you can download them, install them, and I, I go over how to install them in there into your DAW. Once those are installed, you can literally grab, I think it's called the CWP file, and you can download that, and you can click on that, and it will open Cakewalk all configured, all ready to go. Uh, with the plugins, as long as they're installed, it will configure it for you. And it'll give you a starting point. Now you're you're going to have to go in. You're going to have to change the EQ and probably all the different settings because your voice is going to be different. The microphone is most likely different, right? Um, so you can just zero all that out and uh, and start building your uh, audio profile from there. So, anyways, moving on. Uh, the first thing you want to do is download and install those two things, and. What you want to do first is down here in the right hand corner in your taskbar, if you're on Windows 10, right click on the, the speaker icon, open sounds. Okay. Under playback, uh, you're going to see uh, your sound card. Uh, right click on your sound card right there. Mine is uh, I'm Audio Air. Go to properties advanced and I set this to uh, this needs to be set to 24 bit uh, 48 kilohertz now what I'm about to show you is I, I found out through a friend of mine uh, Doug that I think his name's Doug uh, guy that frequents the streams that he pointed me to a video uh, voice meter banana can be a little quirky and it, you, you need to make sure that all of your sample rates are set at the same sample rate for all of the devices, okay? Including Thetis, Cakewalk, um, Voice Meter Banana, all of the bits and pieces uh, regarding the sound cards, okay? So uh, find your sound card, make sure it's set to 48 kilohertz, Hit apply, okay, and now scroll down under playback. If voice meter banana is installed, you need to set the input to default device by right clicking, and 
you'll see it in here set as default device. Make sure that's the input is set to default and the out and the auxiliary input is set to default communications device. All right, once that's done, get out of there, go to recording, uh, find your M audio card or whatever sound card you're using. Here it is. Right click properties, advanced, uh, two channel, 32 bit, 48 kilohertz. Um, this card seems to want to keep defaulting back to 32 bit. So I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to go back in. I'm going to change the playback on the M audio card. Advanced. I'm going to reset that to 32 bit because I noticed I changed it earlier and it defaulted back to 32 bit. So we're just going to leave it there, but make sure it's set to 48 kilohertz. All right. So going back to the recording tab, scroll all the way down. Once you have your M audio or your sound card set to uh, 48 kilohertz, uh, go to voice meter output. Same thing, right click, advanced properties, set that to default device. Auxiliary output, set that to default communications device. All right, once that's done, you're out of there. Now we can configure voice meter banana. Go to hardware input one. And what you want to do is you, uh, what I have mine set to, I have it KS, M Audio Air 192.4 Stereo in 1-2. All right. Now that's where your microphone will be plugged into. You want to plug your microphone in. Get out of there. Uh, get over to the other camera. And so you have your M Audio Air right here. And the microphone is plugged into channel one. And if you are running a condenser microphone, make sure the phantom power is on. That's this, this switch right here. And you will see the lights. Both those blue lights should be lit up. You will not get audio in any, anything without that. The very first thing you want to do is once you activate the hardware input on voice meter banana, is talk, talk in your microphone. Sorry about the camera. Talk in your microphone and set your input gain. Right here. Set your input gain. Get a couple lights going on it. Uh, talk into it in a normal voice and make sure you have enough audio drive. Do not clip that on any card. Do not put it into clipping. Um, you won't need to do that. Uh, just if you can get a light going, two lights, maybe minus 3 dB on the peak. So audio, audio. There you go. Uh, that's plenty. You don't need any more. All right. Going back to Chiquita Banana. All right. The very next step is to, on this channel strip, hardware input one. After you've set this to your sound card input. All right. The very next step is to come down here, activate, turn on B2. That's bus two and select mono. Now you can go come over here and these are your virtual inputs. Voice meter VAIO, voice meter aux. Okay. What you want to do is this voice meter VAIO is going to be your radio. That is going to be your receive audio from the Anon. Okay, so you want to set this to A1, ignore A2. Uh, this is a separate feed which goes to OBS, my streaming software. So, so disregard any of this A2 that you see in here. What you want to do is activate A1, come up here, click on A1, and, and this is your hardware out. You want to select ASIO M Audio Air 192 for ASIO. Make sure that's on, on A1. Okay. Now on voice meter aux, this is going to be your microphone. You can see the microphone moving. So uh, again, ignore A2, set this to bus one. Okay, bus one. Now to hear your audio, when you're tweaking your audio, you can use the headphones in the M audio card to monitor your audio by just turning on A1. If you turn on A1, remember, it will pipe the audio to the M audio card direct. Okay, and this is after, this is post-processing in Cakewalk. We're going to get to Cakewalk.
I'm just showing you banana, uh, banana right now. So make sure B1 is active. You should be able to, well, you won't see anything in here yet because we haven't uh, uh, configured Cakewalk. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, also, make sure that your sound card is set to USB or DAW. You do not want the sound card to use any direct signal. Um, if that's set, if, if that knob, let me go back to the sound card, I'll show you. And this is, this is all layman's terms. I'm going to cover everything here. So that knob right here, I know the light isn't very good. This knob on the M audio card, this is set over to USB. That's, that's not direct. If you turn that to the right, that's direct. And that's going to grab only the audio from the input. You don't want that. That's raw audio from the microphone. This has to be set regardless of what card you're using over to USB always, always. Do not move that. All right. Back to there. Okay. So remember, A1 is how you monitor your audio. Be careful because if your speakers are on and you have your speakers turned up on the M audio card, which is right here. Your speakers are up. Remember, your speakers, your monitor speakers are going to come out of the back of the M audio card. All right, that's going to, and this knob is for your speakers. This knob is for your headphones. So if this is up and you turn on that A1, that is going to activate, that's going to make your audio audible. So you're going to hear the post processing from cake, Cakewalk, and if the speakers are turned up, it's going to loop and feed back. Um, if it ever does that, it's because you got A1 turned on. You have to shut that off. Now you can monitor, you turn the speakers down on the big knob and you turn the head, put the headphones on and turn them up. And that's how you can uh, work on your audio. Okay. That's the monitor function, A1. A1 is monitor for the radio and the microphone. Just remember that. All right, over to Cakewalk for your DAW. What you want to do is you want to go into the DAW, go to your preferences or your setup, and you want to get your devices. Go to devices or um, sound card settings. And what you want to select is voice meter aux virtual ASIO. You're going to see all of your voice meter information in your input and output drivers. You want voice meter aux virtual ASIO on input, voice meter aux virtual ASIO on output. Make sure those are checked. Hit apply. OK. Done. Now, in Cakewalk, you can go into your driver settings, check the sample rate, make sure it's set to 48 kilohertz, and you're good to go. All right, and you should see Voice Meter Aux Virtual ASIO loaded into Playback Timing uh, Master and Record Timing Master. That's what you should see there. All right, so that's done, and we're hitting the home stretch here. Now we're into... Uh, of course, this is this is going to look a little bit different uh, than because I reconfigured mine, so it's very compact. I didn't need all the other garbage. I'm not recording with this, so all I wanted is the channel strips. Now you can load this using the CWP provided on the website. It will pop up just like this. So what you want to do is you want to get before any of this will work. You need to all download the plugins and load them, install them, so that Cakewalk will see them. Okay, and I tell you exactly how to do that um, on the website. And you can see I've got a decent amount of plugins in here. And that CWP, if those plugins are loaded correctly, when you download that file, you should be able to just click on that and it will open Cakewalk and configure it exactly the way I have it. Now, most likely, if I open the CQ, all of this is going to be different because your voice, this is for my voice, my microphone, and um, most likely the curve is not going to be right for you. I would just automatically assume that right out of the gate. So you can always go in and flatten all this. Uh, the nice part is, is I have all of the configurations to make this all work. You may have to just change like the EQ curve and stuff like that. You can leave everything else alone. Um, very easy, very simple. All right. Um, now, 
you're not going to see anything moving on the meters when you're talking to the microphone. So I'll show you how to make that work. So remember, we went into the preferences and we set up Cakewalk to use uh, voice meter banana. So what you have to do on your microphone channel strip is you need to tell the channel strip what to look at, where to grab audio from. So in your channel strip, you're going to see in and out. So you click the drop down here and what you want to select on your microphone channel one or whatever channel you decided to use, you need to set that to listen to voice meter aux virtual ASIO. And this should be VM VAIO one, which is left. Okay. Ignore the left. That's channel one because you're using hardware input one on voice meter banana. So once that's done, select that. Now you got to tell it to go to the master. So you want the output. You want to set the output to master. Make sure that's done. Oops, about that. And now go over to your master slider and you need to select where you want to send this audio to so that you can monitor it and feed it to the Anon. So this needs to go to voice meter VAIO1 and VAIO2. So you'll see one and two and S for stereo. You want to make sure that's selected. Still not done yet. You're not going to see anything happen. Here's the catch. See this blue button right here? Now again, other DAWs may function differently. I don't know. Um, make sure that is on and lit up. That's input echo. Once you turn that on, boom, you should see all this light up. Everything should go hot. So the other thing I do is I change this button right here to interleave stereo. Okay, and this button is interleave stereo. All right, and you're done. You're done with that. Everything should be lit up and running. Now we can go over to the Anon. Let's go to Thetis. So what you want to do in Thetis, leave the radio off or, or po power off, software on, power off. Uh, go to setup, uh, VAC1. These are the settings for the VAC, ASIO. And you want the driver to be ASIO. Okay. M Audio Air 192.4, you want to select that. That's not correct. Uh, what you want is Voice Meter Virtual ASIO. Okay. Set this to Voice Meter Virtual ASIO. Hit Apply. Bada boom, bada bing. And okay. Now what you want to do is I'm going to bring the AGC off. I'm going to start the radio and click on a signal. And what should happen is you should hear the audio come up. You should have audio coming out uh, through your M audio card. So I'm going to put the headphones on. Open up the AGC. Okay, so now we have audio coming out. Uh, remember your headphones on the M audio or your sound card. You're going to need to use those. Uh, so just plug your headphones in, turn it up. All right. Um, again, you're go you're going to walk. You're going to want to set before you even transmit. You're going to have to go through and set up all of your plugins in Cakewalk. You have to. Um, and you're going to have to check the levels. Do not clip. Try to keep them from clipping 0 dB. You'll see these red lights right here. Oh, let me go to logs. You'll see these red lights. Uh, I am bumping the clip area, but it's not, it's not over the top. You can see that it's only on extreme voice peaks. That's okay because what you want to do is drive the Anon to, you know, um, just, just beneath clampdown. Uh, if you've got the leveler turned on on the Anon, um, which I would do, um, it will keep your voice peaks at no more than zero dB. Uh, so the leveler is kind of like a little insurance policy. But if you see just a little bump on the clip, don't worry about that. You don't want to push it too hard, though. So let's get back to the Anon. All right, so the next thing you want to do 
is you want to check your audio. You want to check your audio in. Sorry about that. First, you want to check your audio in the software first. So that's done using A1. So if I turn on A1, turn this on, now I have audio. I can hear the audio coming through uh, the headphones. So you can check the quality, uh, quality of the audio and make sure everything's okay. So that's working. So now what you do is you go back to the Anon. And what you want to do is kick the monitor function on and you want to make sure that the audio that's being fed to the Anon is clean. This is important. I do this every single time I start the software, every time. So kick the monitor on, uh, drive a level at zero, go to a clear frequency, and... Let's go down here. And go ahead and key it, and you'll hear the audio. I don't know if you will hear it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you will, but it's going to sound weird because there's going to be two. Uh, actually, I know what I can do. I can shut off A2 and kill the feed to the uh, OBS. So let me kill kill my feed to OBS, the, the recording software, streaming software. And then what you'll hear is only the audio coming through the Anon. So here we go. I'm going to key it. Test one, two. Check, check. So that sounds good. All right, we should have audio back in OBS. Ignore the stream, unless you're gonna do streaming, um, just ignore uh, that, but uh, that's it. You're off and running. And let's see if there's anything I forgot. I don't believe so. I believe that's it, and you should be off and running. So anyways, guys. That is the complete setup. It's not too bad, is it? <laughs> it's not it's not too bad. What's going on with my uh huh. my um green screen is all freaking out. So anyways, 73. I hope this helped some people. Oh, that's what I was going to share with you really quick. I knew there was something I almost forgot. So, sequence. Sometimes if you open certain, certain things out of sequence, it brain farts, voice meter banana. So this is what I do. I open Cakewalk first. The DAW, I open that first. As far as launching it, I launch it. And then I launch voice meter banana. Wait for each one to load completely. And then I launch... Thetis, kick the power button on, off and running. So that's it, folks. Hit me if you have any questions. I do have a Zello channel set up for ESSB help, help with in configuring this stuff. And you can, if you have Zello on your smartphone or whatever, or your computer, you can... You can just hit me on that channel. That channel is on, I believe it's on the home page of the website. And it has to be put in exactly, asked to be authorized. The only thing I do ask regarding that channel is that you do your homework. You try to make it work yourself. I am not going to teach you how to run the DAW. I don't have time for that. I'm sorry. There's plenty of information online to learn how to run DAWs to make them work. Uh, if you get stuck, do not hesitate to contact me and I can team uh, ultra viewer. I do not use team viewer. I use ultra viewer and I can ultra viewer into your computer and make sure everything's okay for you. No problem. I put this stuff out here and I'm willing to help. Seven, three, catch you later. Art, we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for contacting me, buddy. And I hope this helps. Seven, three, K1 GMM.